Is the Lumia Icon Nokia's best Lumia yet? We spent a week using it and testing it, and now it's time to see what we really think of it. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is our full review of the Nokia Lumia Icon for Verizon Wireless. The hardware portion of the Lumia Icon is up for much debate. There's a large bit of subjectiveness to its appearance. If you're a fan of industrial, boxy, understated hardware, the Icon is near perfection. On the other hand, if you're more into Nokia's standard design, flashy, circus peanut-style handsets, this phone may not strike you as gorgeous. Frankly, we love both styles. Either way, it's impossible to overlook how solid the hardware is, or the sheer attention to detail. A subtle taper of the glass on all sides creates an alluring effect. The slight curve on the back helps the phone slip into the palm of your hand and the metal trim aids in making the phone feel as premium as they come. At 166 grams, it's no lightweight, but its heft helps add to how substantial the phone feels in hand. It's a tank that reeks of quality, and its physical footprint for a 5-inch device is pretty standard. It's 137mm tall, 71mm wide, and 9.8mm thick. Its specifications are comparable to many of the best flagship Android smartphones. It's equipped with 2GB of RAM and 32GB of fixed storage. It has a Snapdragon 800 SoC composed of a 2.2GHz quad-core Crate 400 CPU and Adreno 330 GPU, a 2420mAh battery, 20MP optically stabilized camera, and a 5-inch 1080p clear black AMOLED display. And it comes with a now standard arsenal of connectivity options, Bluetooth 4.0, Verizon LTE, NFC, Qi wireless charging, and Wi-Fi AC. But let's take it back just a step and focus on the display for a minute. It's gorgeous. The higher density display is perfect for Windows Phone, and the sharp text and home screen tiles are welcomed. The viewing angles are fantastic. It's incredibly bright, and outdoor visibility is especially great thanks to what Nokia calls sunlight readability enhancements. We have no complaints with the Lumia Icon's display. And so long as you're okay with the super-saturated nature of OLED-style displays, you won't either. We've always felt the AMOLED display perfectly complements the modern UI of Windows Phone. The pitch blacks blend into the bezels. The whites on this display are very balanced, and the extreme saturation makes the tiles of the home screen pop. Overall, we'd say this is the best-built Windows Phone yet. It's excruciatingly solid, and we're quite impressed with all aspects of this phone's hardware. Software, however, will be hit or miss with potential buyers. The Lumia Icon is running Windows Phone 8 GDR3 with the Lumia Black update. Essentially, the software is identical to every other Windows Phone smartphone except for a few discrepancies. Being a Lumia device, it has access to all of the Nokia-specific apps, which actually come pre-installed. Nokia Camera, Cinemagraph, Hear Maps, Hear Drive, Creative Studio, Mix Radio, and more. The major difference, since the Icon is equipped with a 1080p display, is the density of the home screen tiles. More tiles can be placed on the home screen, and we love how it handles the additional real estate. This makes dealing with no dedicated notification center a little better, sort of. Also, there is no glance feature on the icon, a feature of Nokia's Lumia devices which many love. That also means a double tap of the display when the phone is in standby will not power the device at all. The Windows Phone software is gradually maturing, as is its application offering, but it's still missing some key features, like a dedicated notification page, quick access to settings, and a decent voice assistant. Fortunately, all of those are believed to be included in the forthcoming 8.1 update. Performance, as per usual for Windows Phone, is great on the Icon. The Snapdragon 800 paired with the already buttery smooth Windows Phone experience makes for excellent performance. We haven't noticed any instances of lag, performance hiccups, or other problems. The software and performance of this phone is top notch. Network speeds have also been spectacular here in the Charlotte metro area. Using Verizon's network, we average great downlink and uplink speeds. 18.2 megabits per second and 10.3 megabits per second respectively. Call quality has been exceptional as well. The audio quality is phenomenal thanks to the unique 4 mic rig. It has four digital high dynamic range microphones. The earpiece speaker is markedly clear and callers have no trouble hearing us even in relatively noisy areas. Battery life has been decent. The 2420mAh battery is only average size these days, and we were afraid the Snapdragon 800 and 5-inch 1080p display would be cause for concern. Fortunately, that was not the case. We've been able to go entire days on a single charge with no trouble. That's pulling two Twitter accounts and notifications of two separate Instagram accounts, three email accounts, web browsing, benchmarking, testing, and playing games, reading feeds, and more. It isn't the most impressive battery life ever, but you shouldn't need to have to plug in more than once per day unless you're going out at night. 
Finally, one of the most impressive aspects of the Lumia Icon is its image sensing capabilities. No, its 20 megapixel sensor isn't quite as impressive as the 1020's 41 megapixel sensor, but the effect is essentially the same. By default, it stores images in both 5 and 16 megapixel resolutions at 16.9 aspect. You can change to 4.3 aspect for up to 19 megapixel images, and you can select to have the phone save the digital negatives if you really want to get into post-processing. But even the out-of-the-box settings will suffice for many. The oversampled 5 megapixel shots are super sharp and clear, colors are balanced and true to life, and we're happy with the contrast levels. And thanks to OIS, low light mode was also impressive. The Nokia camera app is linked to the hardware shutter key by default, and it's easily one of the biggest selling points of the PureView equipped smartphones, especially for camera enthusiasts. We would, however, love to see an automated HDR mode built in instead of the exposure bracketing. Video capture was great as well. The stabilization did cause some distortion in the video clips, but the audio was absolutely stellar, as were colors and detail. In fact, as a testament to the audio prowess of the Lumia Icon, the audio for this video was recorded using the built-in microphones. And uh, the audio is something you should also take note of because this one should be great. We haven't listened to it on a computer yet. We'll get to that in the full review. But this thing has four microphones, so it should sound great as we come over the stream. And turn it down. You should still be able to hear it, but you should still also be able to hear me. Overall, the Lumia Icon is one of the best Windows phones we've ever used. It's a testament to Nokia's penchant for quality. We're pleased to say CDMA users finally have a proper Windows Phone handset, which will contest even the toughest Android competition out there. If you can deal with some of the growing pains of the Windows Phone operating system and ecosystem, the Lumia Icon will not disappoint, and its camera and audio performance will make your friends with other phones jealous. For our final score and a more in-depth look at the Lumia Icon, stay tuned for our full written review, which will be available at Pocketnow.com on Monday, February 24th. Folks, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this one in the future. And be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at PocketNow. I'm Taylor Martin. You can find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and I will see you next time.